Again, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church with a few minutes of encouragement from God's Word. Today we're in the Old Testament book of 1 Chronicles, chapter 28, verse 9. This is a message from King David to his son Solomon, who's going to be the next king. And David, giving him sort of his final words of encouragement, says in verse 9 of chapter 28 of First Chronicles, And Solomon, my son, learn to know the God of your ancestors intimately. Worship and serve him with your whole heart and a willing mind. For the Lord sees every heart and knows every plan and thought. If you seek him, you will find him. That's the same message to you and I. We want to worship and serve God with our whole heart. We want to recognize that he knows our hearts. He knows our minds and every plan and thought that we may have. And if we seek him, he is certainly ready and excited to meet us, to be found, to be um, in, experienced a closer real relationship with him. More than David or Solomon or anybody in the Old Testament could experience is possible for you and I because of Christ in us, because of what Jesus has done. But it's the attitude of our heart that helps to open us up to experience the fullness of all that he has for us. Why would we deny ourselves a close, personal, intimate relationship with God our Savior, our Lord, the creator of the world, and the one who loves us so much. Commit ourselves every day so that we could experience more of him. Let's pray. God, thank you for your love. Thank you that you initiated everything so that we could experience you in a personal way. But God, we pray that every day we can start with a commitment to say, I want more. I want to know you more. I want to follow you more closely. I want to experience what it means to serve you with all that I am, seeking you with all of my heart, and experiencing what it means to know the God of the universe, the Savior of all humanity. Thank you for that promise and for your love for us. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So again, the message from 1 Chronicles 28.9, to Solomon, but also to us. So you could substitute your name in here. And Solomon, my son, or whatever your name is, my son or daughter, learn to know the God of your ancestors intimately. Worship and serve him with your whole heart and a willing mind. For the Lord sees every heart and knows every plan and thought. If we seek him, if you seek him, you will find him. Let's be all about knowing and seeking and finding him all the more. And God will bless you in your efforts. Have a wonderful day and a great weekend. Take care.